Hi everyone. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and uh, have this little lecture. Actually, this is part one, and uh, this lecture is about mathematics behind the coronavirus or COVID-19. Now, the reason why I want to do this, first of all, kind of understand the mathematics of what's going on right now in the entire world, and also uh, do it very slowly, and uh, to show that this is a mathematical model. But this uses all this mathematics, arithmetic, algebra, probability, statistics, calculus, and differential equations. And sometimes uh, students ask me, when are we going to use the, this algebra? And it's a good uh, answer to this question. Or when you take a math class, once you are in the class, kind of you don't know. But in this case, I want to try to make this very slow so you can kind of see how mathematically we can uh, predict or solve the problem or see what's going on. This model is called SIR. It's a deterministic model and it was developed by Kermack and McKenwick in 1927. They did a great job. So I know that you see the mathematics on the board. It's, uh, some, it can look complicated to you, but there are parts of it. And if you understand each part, then that's good enough. And I'm gonna start with arithmetic and algebra and go to into calculus and differential equations. The first thing I want you to know what goes on in the world or in a city or in a country. We have three types of populations now. One population, one are the susceptibles, if I put S of T, and this is a the reason why I put it because it changes with time. T is time. The other one is, uh, let me go here, maybe it's, we have I, which, is, which are the infected ones, and we have R, and R are the removed ones. What happens when a person is removed? Either the person dies, we don't want that to happen, or recover. That's the best. So we have susceptible S plus infected I plus R, and if we add all these three, we get N. N is the number of people that can be in a city, in a country, or even the entire world. It works exactly the same way. Now, what I want you to learn today is about exponential growth. I'm sure in the news you uh, have heard that this uh, virus is growing exponentially. What is exponential growth? I just took a simple example here. Exponential means exponent. It comes from uh, the word exponent. And uh, when a number has an exponent, for example, two to the power of, I put a little table here, and I'm, I'm going to just take the positive numbers. Two to the power of one is two, two to the power of two is two times two, which is four but I took some negative numbers too. So if that number is negative 2, you get 0.25. If it's negative 1, it's 0 0.5. 0 is 1. Any number to the power of 0 is 1. And uh, 2 and 4. As you notice, these numbers increase from 0.25 to 4. This is an exponential growth. If I graph that for you, which I did here, Negative 2 we have, I just plotted these points and I just connected them. And as you see it goes up, I'm sure you have seen this anywhere by now. This curve goes up, so this is an exponential growth. The base here is 2. The base for the coronavirus is a little bit different, we'll get to that. What is an exponential decay? Exponential decay, it's the same thing but then when the exponents are negative so if i put negative 2 i get 4 negative 1 i get 2 0 1 and so on these numbers go down so they start from a point and they go down this is called exponential decay now exponential growth it's a very fast growth for example if i start from here 2 to the power of 1 is 2 2 is 4. If I put 10, it jumps to 1024. 
if I put 20 here, 2 to the power of 20 is 1,048,576. If you put 30, is 1,073,741,824. So you see how the numbers jump. So exponent, when something grows exponentially, it's pretty, uh, well in this case it could be pretty dan dangerous. It's not working the same way for coronavirus and there are ways to prevent that. Now, again to prevent that, you say people going from here to here, it grows exponentially. So, but uh, on the next videos I'll tell you, I'll show you exactly how this works. But just to know, from here to here, there's a ray. Imagine this is a, this is a pool and this is another pool and water is flowing from here to here. And another uh, way, the water, there's, this is a pool and that's another pool and water is flowing from here to here. This flow is much greater than this one. That was a lot of people are getting infected right now. So our goal is to make this flow smaller than that. If we do that, then uh, more people are going to recover and we're going to be safer. How do we do that? The, how the governments do that is to kind of cut that. How do we cut that? But social distancing, washing hands, being uh, careful. So if you do all this, then this flow becomes small and uh, this is going to get larger. And this pool is going to become smaller and smaller. That's uh, all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I hope it was helpful, but please be tuned for, our, for my next lecture on this, because a lot of ex, uh, interesting calculations uh, are going to go on, and I'm going to explain each part one by one. Please be safe and healthy. Have a nice day.